last game here in the border war. You want to win this game on your floor. Cry that state. Yeah, as you may have heard, Missouri's going to the SEC. That's being talked about a little bit in these parts. Time now for our one-on-one, -on -one, Dick. Well, starts down for Kansas with the big guy. We got big versus small. Robinson, a dominator inside. One of the leading candidates for player of the year honors. Physical and tough. Can they match up? On the other side, Mr. Pressy. He creates opportunities. Leads the league in steal and assists. Gets the ball to Rattler, who leads the nation in field goal percentage. We got the little guys and the big guys. This place is rocking, Mr. Schumann. They are about ready to introduce the Missouri Tigers here in Columbia. Enjoy the atmosphere. for the final time ever in Columbia. Kansas and Missouri coming up. Thanks for watching the Infinity College Basketball Tip-Off live from Columbia. Now let's see how our coaches are inspired. Inspiration comes from the fans. The fans inspire players by bringing that extra energy to the building. Our guys play better. They play harder. It's like giving them that extra boost to play as well as they can play. The best home courts are the ones where there's energy, and we're spoiled to play in Allen Fieldhouse, which is arguably as good as home court as there is in college basketball. Inspiration is contagious. The guys are going to be juiced, and they're going to be ready, but one thing I will say to them is you work your tails off to play in games like this, so let's not have any what-ifs. So the Kansas game is a robbery game. It's inspirational for us. I expect it to be a lot of energy in the building. I think our guys will play their very best, and I know Kansas will play their very best, and it'll be a funny... Spread some inspiration of your own. Visit ESPN.com slash infinity and help your coach win for his favorite charity. Welcome back to Columbia, and welcome to Saturday Primetime, presented by DirecTV. A top ten matchup. Number eight, Kansas, is here at the Mizzou Arena to take on number four, Missouri. Just the third time ever these two programs have met when both of them were ranked in the top ten. But look at the starting lineups, beginning with Kansas. Tyshawn Taylor, Thomas Robinson, the two stars for this team. Elijah Johnson does a little bit of everything. Travis Relaford, a terrific defender. Jeff Withy having his best season. For Missouri, they're small, they're quick, they're tough, they share the ball. Anybody can score. Ricardo Ratliff, the big guy in the middle, shooting 75% from the floor on the season. The guards get some of the credit for that. Yeah, really, when you talk about Presti, he's done a phenomenal job, Dan, creating opportunities. The question mark now will be, who's going to get the edge in the matchups? But I think ultimately we're going to see Missouri play a lot of zone defense. Missouri's beaten some big teams. They went down to Baylor and won down there. Missouri still has to go to Kansas. Kansas still has to go to Baylor, and Baylor still has to go to Mizzou. So there are some games still left to decide the Big 12. 
A missed three by Matt Pressy. He and his younger brother, Phil Pressy, comprise the starting guard duo for Mizzou. Tell you who's playing really great for Kansas, Taylor with the rock in his hand. Yep. He's been sensational, averaging over 18 points a game. We wondered about the matchup. 6-6, Kim English, really a guard of a play in the four spot, defending seven-footer Jeff Whippy, Tyshawn Taylor with a three. You're going to see them go inside. Those sub totals before the game. If they stay in the man and they have those matchup dilemmas, we're going to pound the ball to the interior. Robinson and Ratliff on one another with the other end of the floor. On this end of the floor, Robinson is on Matt Pressy. Withy is on Ratliff. You know, Robinson really off Matt Pre Pressy. You can just zone up in the lane. You see not much of a threat shooting the basketball. He has the lowest scoring average of any of the five starters. Shot clock is down to five for Mizzou. Now down to three. Deep one. And it goes for Denman. He has been really struggling shooting the ball in conference play. 27 to 7 to three. Long three missed. Rebound to Missouri. The Mizzou guards are terrific rebounders. Bill Pressey and Taylor swats it out of bounds. Well, Denman leads him in rebound. Would you believe that? He leads them in a rebound and a 5.3. Followed when you take a look at a guy like English, who is a guard now playing over at the four slot. Remember Villanova made that great run, played four guards. They create problems for you as well. You got to guard them. Tricky matchups at both ends of the floor. Your prototypical size versus quickness kind of matchup. Neither team is very deep. Missouri literally will not go deeper than seven unless they have a real issue. Kansas, seven main guys in the rotation can go eight or nine deep if need be. You know, Missouri has picked number four preseason in conference, and that was including Bowers, right. who's been out all year. Lawrence Bowers tore his ACL, missed the whole season. Kadeem Green, a backup big guy, transferred out. Deep into the shot clock again. Phil Pressy hands it off, and Rackley plays it in. And that's why he leads the nation. About three, four feet away, but created off the innovative ability of Pressy penetrating. Robinson with the left hand gets the roll to tie the game. Thomas Robinson, your midseason pick as National Player of the Year. And there's the Big 12's leading shot blocker, Jeff Whippy, with a rejection. You know, Robinson scored on the other end. He struggled in the three games prior to the last one against Oklahoma. We're going to watch you the block shot. There's Whippy coming from behind. That's his 69th block shot. Really improved. Thomas Robinson, 15 double-doubles, averaging better than 17 points, 12 rebounds per game. One of the best sixth men in America. Michael Dixon just checked into the game for Mizzou. Good deep position for Ratliff and a push from behind. No basket. Foul before the basket. And the foul's on Whippy, his first. You know, Ratliff very quick. Once he catches the ball inside, he has a real quick release. Look about an edge coming late in the game. Edge on the free throw line goes to Missouri. A terrific free throw shooting team. English travels. Kim English, the senior out of Baltimore, having an incredible shooting season, almost 50% from three. And as the de facto power forward on this team, Dick, he's guarding 6'8, six, 6'9 six, guys every night. And tonight, he gets with you, a seven footer. He loves the challenge. I was watching before the game. He was working down in a low post on a block. Guard people. He said, we got ready to guard Robinson and with him. The guy who was guarding was like a manager. I said, that's not Robinson. <laughs> Cross court looked relative. Kansas wants to pound the ball inside at every opportunity. They've done a great job defensively this year. Teams are shooting 37% against them. Hanging and hitting on the baseline is Taylor again. What a phenomenal year he's had. And he really seems to relish the big stage. Kansas holds the upper hand in the rivalry that dates back more than a hundred years. This is the 266th meeting. Kansas is 171 and 94 in this meeting as Missouri turns it over with another travel. Frank Hay, first year coach here in Missouri, got to be the leading contender for National Coach of the Year. He's say? certainly right up there. Hey, what about the job being done? We saw them against Notre Dame earlier this year. I mean, they blew Notre Dame out. Notre Dame's a different yeah. team right now. Mike Bray, what a job he's doing with the fighting Irish. Yep. Notre Dame got a big win over Marquette today. Missouri's blown a lot of people out. They blew Cal out in Kansas City as well. They have one at Baylor. Taylor again. Eight already for Taylor. I mean, he has been scoring big time. Very confident. He's got the great rotation. 
He's playing like one of the better guards in America. Never mind just in the Big 12. Bressy trying to find a way to get inside. English got Robinson to leave his feet just for a moment. And it'll stay with the Mizzou, 18 on the shot clock. You know, Robinson's going to chase him all over the floor. The key is with English, you can't let him square up and shoot the three, as you said earlier. Shooting 49% from the trifecta. Here comes Justin Wesley into the game for Withy. Wesley's a 6'9 sophomore, a transfer from Lamar, so they get a little bit smaller in the front court as the seven-footer sits down. And if we see a lot of teams do this, they eventually go somewhat smaller to try to match up with the smaller Tigers. We may even see Relaford at 6'6 play the power forward spot tonight. Ratliff again. Boy, tough shot that time. You know, right now, shooting 75%. A leader 31 years ago. Mr. Johnson, Steve Johnson in Oregon State. Oregon State shot 74% for the year. Wide open look, Relaford. I mean, that was wide open, baby, and he took advantage of it. And this Kansas team, to me, has really overachieved all year. When you look at all the parts of that team, it's not a vintage Jayhawk team that he's had over the years. Yet here they are in the top ten, competing for a conference title again. That's why not say Bill Self for the yep, coach right. here. Yep. Taylor, and it'll be an offensive foul. A timeout on the floor. A foul there on Taylor, but he's done a lot of things right already tonight. He's got eight points, including a couple of early three-pointers. And Kansas has the early lead here at Mizzou. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by DirecTV. If you call yourself a sports fan, you got to get DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. And in part by Infinity, luxury cars that deliver inspired performance. Welcome back to Mizzou Arena. 13 to 7 to Kansas leading the Tigers in the early going here tonight. Dan Shulman to Dick Vitale. And let's say hello to Holly Rowe. Well, guys, what makes this game so intriguing is there's so many matchup problems for both teams. I talked with Kim English, who's really 6'5", guarding a 7-foot Jeff Withy tonight. He said the key is he's been watching a lot of film on Withy. He said, I know I'm overmatched physically, so I've got to be smarter, see what some of his tendencies are. He said he's also playing outside of the post more, so I have to be careful and not get into foul trouble if he turns and tries to drive on me. Also, guys, I just listened into the huddle, and Frank Haith continues to make the point, rebound, rebound. And of course, with their lack of size, that's the first thing you think about. But they've been able, Dick, at times to out-rebound bigger teams, and Kansas has not rebounded the ball as well the last couple of weeks as Bill Self would like. They got a plus-two margin right now. I think the big thing is the way Kansas shot the ball early in this game. Three for four from the trifecta. That's a big one for Missouri. Marcus Denman, their do-everything guard, has been in a shooting slump the last several games when he knocks down a corner three. Shooting 27% from the three in conference play. 37% over. There's the zone. See, I figured we'd see a lot of zone. There goes the zone, Dan yep. Shulman. Got to get in the gaps of that zone. And does Kansas settle, or do they get the ball inside like their coach wants? Robinson. The kick out to Relaford. Taylor. Kansas ball, four to shoot. See, Robinson had a little chalk after the Iowa State game when they got beat. He had 13-7. And he had three games where he really struggled. Texas, Texas a &M. yep. Coach Self said, be aggressive. And he was aggressive against Oklahoma. 20 and points, 17 rebounds. That's and right. Having a magnificent season. The junior who played behind the Morris Twins last year. Elijah Johnson didn't seem to notice until a second was left. The shot clock was running down, even though they had the whistle to talk it over. And there's a foul on the drive. And Bill Self is all over Elijah Johnson right now for his lack of clock awareness. Relaford called for the foul, his first. He's going to make a substitution. He's going to make a substitution. I mean, Bill Self has done an amazing job everywhere he's been. Connor Sheehan into the game. Who's coming out? Who's coming out? Relaford is coming out. Johnson will stay in. I think he brought Tian in for one reason, to shoot the three yeah. against the zone. He's a good long-range shooter. But he has been struggling in conference play as well. Yeah, but those guys can go on a streak yep. really quickly. Dixon, such an X-factor for Mizzou. 21 points in their win down in Austin on Monday night, including the game winner on a driving left-handed layup. 
31 seconds left in the room, scored by Deuce. Denman too strong. Full Pressy, the offensive rebound. English misses the three. And a foul on Ratliff. Silly foul, silly foul. I don't think he meant to do it. I think it was kind of incidental contact, but no. Robinson went tumbling to the court. He reached in, though. He reached in. Hey, I'm really impressed the way Kansas defends. Really, when I look at this basketball team, I thought they'd have a good team, and I never thought they'd be in a position where they're at. And I think the great story with Robinson, Dan, is played 14 minutes a game last year, but never pounded himself. Yeah. I mean, that kid could have played 35 minutes a game in a lot of places. And he's unquestionably going to be an All-American and is definitely a candidate for National Player of the Year. See, the rotate, he came out of the zone. Johnson knocks it down. Bill Self describes him as a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. He does everything reasonably well. Phil Pressy does that pretty well, doesn't he? That. He can go from one end to the other really quick. Remember his daddy? Point forward. Yep. Uh, Nelson labeled him with the, the box. Paul Pressy, now an assistant coach for the Cavaliers. Robinson, the turnover. The one great thing they've done so far, other than that possession here when Pressy went the length of the court, and score Kansas has done an early great job with transition defense they haven't allowed Missouri to get into that unbelievable fast break they'd like to run these two programs will meet later on this month in Lawrence because the Big 12 this year only has 10 schools it's a true round robin you play all nine schools home and home so every ball everybody will have the identical schedule Kansas has won or shared the last seven regular season titles it would be enormous for Missouri to win this title and imagine this again and this this is in the background of everything that's going on this is it in the big 12 for Missouri they're going to the SEC there are hard feelings in Lawrence about Missouri going to the SEC whether these two programs will ever play again after this year is up in the air right there's some hard feelings around here I could get over the attitude of a lot of fans right here in Columbia not happy with them going to the SEC Tehan the steal and Pressy takes it right back oh, three on one fish. They don't get a shot off, but what a steal by Pressy. What a terrific job by Kansas yep. to make him bring the ball back outside. Had numbers. Pressy leads the conference and steals and assists. Look at him. The ball's like on a string as he works his way inside. Finds more and more travel. Just think about how good this club would be with the addition of a guy like Powers, yep. who is a good rebounder, strong inside player. Then you never know what it does to chemistry, though, Dan. This team has phenomenal chemistry. They do, and it's largely the same cast of characters as there was a year ago. Of course, a new coach in a different style and a very unusual lineup because of the injury to Bowers. So English is playing at the four, and it, they've got an experienced team. How many teams in the Power Six conferences are loaded with seniors like Missouri is? Yeah, but you've got a big team that's going to be wearing a uniform next year. they got some guys yes. sitting out really outstanding. Yeah, we watched some of the red shirts go through a workout today, a practice here. They're outstanding. Robinson to Taylor. And look at Denman get up for the rebound. That's why he leads him in rebound with a little guy. He's a competitor, man. He's a fierce competitor. English is the guy they're worried about more than any other player outside the arc. They're closing out on him in a hurry. The cut by English for the bucket. What a quick release. He made that real lateral cut across the lane. They didn't beat him to the ball. Caught it, turned, and laid it right off the glass. Missouri back within one. Robinson driving on Moore. And on the alternating possession, it will be Kansas ball when we come back as Moore tied him up. Did a good job right there defensively. And his hand on the ball. Timeout on the floor. Kim English, not just a three-point shooter. The cut. And the bank shot, it's a one-point game. Hightower missed them both. Hightower steals the ball and blows the layup. Then he gets it back and scores, and they're really swinging it. we got a wild one on our hands. Kansas and Missouri. And brother, they are really slugging in there. Players are pairing off, and there's a wild scramble down on the other end of the court. And now the spectators are coming out, and this is really getting to be something. They're piled up. 
That was in 1961 in the aftermath of a of a fight in a football game between the two programs. Only 164 miles separate Lawrence and Columbia. The border showdown, the 266th meeting. Kansas holds the upper hand. Missouri has had its moments 11 times since 1990. They've defeated a Kansas team when Kansas has been ranked in the top 10, including twice when they've been the number one team in the country, both of those back in 1990. But Kansas has done almost all of the damage lately, winning four of the last five, 19 of the last 23. This is just the third time ever. Both programs have been ranked in the top 10. The combination of that, the Big 12 title, a number one seed going to St. Louis for the regional, and the whole Big 12 SEC situation. This is at a fever pitch, Dick. This is not just another basketball game. Well, you know, Stormy Norman had a lot to do with that. Norm Stewart back in the 90s did a phenomenal job. I'll tell you this right now, you know, Missouri is seventh in the nation in turnovers, only 10 a game. Right now, they got four already. Thomas Robinson running over Michael Dixon and getting called for the foul, his first. Kansas by one, 11.40 to go in the first half here at Mizzou Arena. Matt Cressy misses the jumper, and Robinson down with the rebound. He's one of the leading rebounders in the country at a better than 12 a game. He's got three tonight. Withy back into the game for the Jayhawks. He's been playing very well lately offensively, but doesn't get the roll there. They're going to get some touches inside the Robinson. English. Withy the rebound. They're going to bring the ball inside. Let the big guy get some touches. Relifer trying to go coast to coast, wave it off. Offensive foul. This time it's English taking the charge. Good call. You know, he leads them in taking charges. He leads them in charges. Robinson, I did my little research for the last year. He played 32 minutes, 24 points, 20 rebounds against Missouri. In the two games combined. In the two games combined. Relaford his second. He goes to the bench. Robinson goes to the bench as well. They beat Iowa State at home. They were losing. Had Robinson on the sideline, and they won an incredible spurt. Sparked by Taylor. Played for Bob Hurley, the Hall of Famer at St. Anthony's. Kansas is 18-4 and four on the season, 8-1 and one in the league. Their losses this year are to Kentucky, Duke, Davidson, and at Iowa State. Missouri is 20-2. and two. Both of their losses coming on the road at Kansas State and at Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, the last five minutes was a nightmare, and the kid Nash had a major Ooh. game. Denman got crushed. And he still converted and made the basket. He's from Kansas City, you know. He said no to the Jayhawks. Here he is, playing the Missouri. Do you think he wants this game badly? There he is, driving the lane. I mean, he's going to earn a three in a tough way. He was and like the, right into Westwood. He was the leading scorer coming back to the conference from last year. By the way, Denman and Relaford, high school rivals. Relaford's already picked up two fouls and has gone to the bench. Kansas has picked up six fouls already, and listen to the noise here at Mizzou. Well, you got the antlers going bananas. You got the zoo crew. They're all going wild. I had so much fun with the kids before the game. Missouri down early, now up by two. Taylor, tough turnaround, not there. He's got to be careful that he doesn't try to do too much by himself. Spread it out, had eight quick points. Again, no Robinson in the game right now. Kickball. Will Self not liking some of the calls. Phil Pressey's going to come back into the game for Michael Dixon. First exposure to the board of war from Frank Haight. Even the players on the team said he's going to get a taste of yeah. it. Yeah, usually the coach gives the players the pregame pep talk in this kind of a game. Maybe the players gave the coach Yeah, talk. they were giving him a real pep talk. <laughs> Good decision there by Denver. That experience in a bad court is big. Oh, he wasn't how to carry it. Yeah, just got away with it. Matt Pressing, the senior to his little brother Phil, the sophomore. Gonna have a proud daddy, man. Five on the shot clock. Little screen and roll. And taken away from behind. Numbers now for Kansas. Taylor lost it. And then had it blocked. And 
down, and the putback is good for Justin Wesley. You know, Wesley hanging around, transfer from Lamar gets the score. Should have given that ball up, Taylor. Had went with the other right, should have dropped that bounce pass to him. Will Pressy. And the size of Whitby impacting that shot attempt. Ratliff off balance, but he's fouled. Okay, Ratliff's one of the most improved players in America, Dan. Tomorrow night, ESPNU is your home for ACC basketball, a rare afternoon edition of Sunday Night Basketball out of the ACC. Miami taking on number five, Duke and Cameron. ACC Sunday Night Basketball presented by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups on ESPNU, ESPN3, and streaming live on WatchESPN.com. Jeff Withy just picked up his second foul. So Relaford has two. Withy has two already for the Jayhawks. I think both clubs play so hard, play really physical, very intense. Missouri right now is second among schools with most NCAA appearances without going to the Final Four. Number one, BYU 26, Missouri 24, Xavier 22. Can this team get to the Final Four this year? They have the potential to get there. Right now, I look at Syracuse up there, Ohio State, Kentucky, I mean, those clubs look really tough. I mean, really, I, can he beat them? They can beat anybody on a given night. I mean, let's face reality. Can they? Yes. A lot's going to depend on matchups. Ratliff, a 68% free throw shooter, missed them both. Robinson back into the game for Kansas. Robinson just two points so far tonight. Tough look in the corner for Tihan. He's got to go inside. Screen, roll, go to the basket. And they're going to look to get the ball in a little bit more. Johnson for three. And Wesley, active on the offensive glass, draws the foul. He's giving them a spark off the bench. Well, that's got to be their edge inside. Offensively rebounded. That shoot, they dominated Missouri on the glass. I mean, they just pounded them inside. And Dick, that's number two on Ratliff. And his importance to this team, the need to keep, keep him out of foul trouble, is as important as any player on any contending team in America because they have so little size and so little depth. Well, absolutely. Without the size on that bench, they can't make substitutions. They don't have that flexibility. Steve Moore, Moore back into the game. You know, last year beat him on a glass 20-plus for Kansas and 17-plus. But that was the Morris twins. Well, now playing in the NBA. What a great environment here in Columbia. The Zoo Arena. Last time they lost in this arena, they lost to Kansas on March 5th. 2011. And the last time they beat Kansas was in the Serena back in 2009. Well, you come out with all those nuggets. It's always Kansas top this year. <laughs> oh, top down, baby. Top down. Marcus Dingman. Is it a slump? That baby squeezed out in there. Second three of the game for Dingman. Is that man to man? How did he to double up on him? He didn't have a good angle. Didn't have a good angle. He looks a little passive tonight. He doesn't look that aggressive. Denman's aggressive and gets the roll. And Robinson just stepped away. Then close off the driving angle. Oh, they love it here in Columbia. Oh, baby. Oh, I love this, Danny Shulman. Well, as we mentioned, Marcus Denman came into the game tonight in a bit of a shooting slump. That thing seems to be a thing of the past. Five for six, Dick, and three for three from three-point range. Already 14 points for Denman. He's played brilliantly here. He's a Kansas City kid. Has a lot of pride. You know, I agree with Norm Stewart, man. This border war should not be ended. They should at least play once a year. Absolutely like Kentucky, Louisville, like Clemson, South Carolina, Georgia, Georgia Tech. Come on, yep. Eagles involved. The kids want it, the players want it, the fans want it, the alumni want it. Well, Missouri says they want to continue the series. Of course, there are hard feelings in a Big 12 country with Missouri leaving the league. Bill Self told us today he's not closing the door on playing Missouri in the future but it has to work for Kansas and he'll consult his AD and his chancellor before any decisions are made. And let me tell you this, the power broker in the whole deal, Bill Self. I hate to say it, Bill Self. Agreed. He could say yeah. yes and it will happen. Johnson for three, yes. He needed that big three to stop a little of his momentum. Kansas back within one. 
Relaford back on Denman. Relaford playing with a couple of fouls. I'm really impressed the way that Missouri's executing their half court game because they're not able to get in transition. Robinson lost his footing as he was fouled. And it'll be Kim English called for the foul, his first. You know what makes him a great rebounder? He doesn't only rebound in his space, he goes across the lane. Great hands. All right, Jonathan Kocher here with a studio update. Elsewhere in the Big 12, Baylor, tough one in Stillwater today. But Quincy AC and crew had just enough to get it done. They improved to 8-2 in conference play. They win by four. Elsewhere, Murray State remains undefeated. They improved to 23-0 over on ESPN2. Alabama in a tight one at home with Old Miss. Guys? Coach, thank you. What a great environment. Look at the student section. There were tents out here days ago. Students lined up all day in dreary, drizzly weather to get the best seats they could get at this game. The border showdown between Kansas and Missouri, the 266th meeting, and maybe the last one ever in Columbia. They will meet at Lawrence later on this season as Mizzou is in the zone again. Taylor knocks down another jumper. Well, he gave him a wide open look right there. I mean, he had nobody guarding him at all. Nobody matched up out of that zone. You know, Missouri's fifth in the nation. Field goal percentage, Kansas seventh in field goal percentage defense, 37%. Missouri shooting 50% so far. We've already had six lead changes here in the first 13 minutes of the game. English from the corner, yes. He can shoot that three. I'll tell you a big story right now, man. Robinson is one for two. He's too big, too talented. In this matchup situation, he's got to find a way to get free. More on Robinson right now. English on Wesley. He's just got to guard. He's got to stationary. Yeah. He's stationary. Not active enough. And Bill Self was a little bit concerned. If they went zone to Missouri, would his team settle? Or would Robinson fight to get inside like he did right there? Right there, a little screen and roll. The oldest play in basketball. Teams have such a difficult time defending. But he's got to make himself really active. Want the ball. Relaford remains on Denman. Again, Relaford playing with two fouls. Withy's been on the bench for a while for KU with two fouls as well. Cressy. And the rebound down to Robinson. He's got six rebounds already, so he's headed for yep. another at least 12 rebounds. Showing some ball handling skills, bringing the ball up the court. Relaford steps into a three. Oh, Robinson going to draw for a foul right there. It's Wesley, actually. Oh, Wesley, yeah, Wesley over Wesley. the back. Come on a little more. And KU's over the limit, so free throws one and one coming for Missouri. And that's big because they're a really good free throw shooting team. In fact, they shoot 77% as a team. Fourth in the nation. And Kim English, again, really a 6-6 guard. Really would be a two-guard, maybe a three-man play in the four spot. Just doing anything he can, anything he can, just to keep his man off the glass and let somebody else on his team. Go get the rebound. He's the guy who gets the free throws. You know, when you're a great shooter like he is, you're going to get a chance in the NBA. There is no substitute for guys to get big shots. By the way, the number one free throw shooting team in the country, Weber State. Damian Lillard had 40 the other day. People out there, remember that name, Lillard. L-I-L-L-A-R-D. Damian, he can flat out score. Leads the nation. Missouri back on top as they go back and forth here in Columbia. Out of pride, this could be the last time they play. Taylor stops on a dime and knocks down another one. He's got a dozen. I can't get over his improvement from the beginning of the year when we had them earlier in the season. You know what Bill Self said about him to shoot around today? And, and Taylor's had some off the court, you know, little, little bumps here and there. Bill Self said, I love him. He's a treat to coach, incredibly coachable, does anything I, I ask him to do. And he's got a case of senior urgency right now, too. He understands the clock is ticking on his collegiate career. He must prove to a lot of people how good he is. He came out of high school, big-time reputation. He's been a winner, though. When you look at the number of wins that he's been part of in Kansas basketball, he's right up there. Second on Wesley. So Withy with two, Wesley with two, both on the bench. And Kansas, as I think we have a violation on the free throw, all right, we're going to count that. It was KU in early, so count the free throw. Kansas goes small. 
for the first time today, and in part because of the foul trouble, but Relaford, Tehan, Johnson, Taylor all in the game at the same time. Well, that's because you said Whitby's got those two. I'm going to tell you this. If this comes down to free throw shooting, the edge big time late in the game goes to Missouri. Playing man to man. Trying to get a touch inside to Robinson. There it is. Trying to get it to Robinson. Nice feed from Connor Tehan to set it up. KU back on top. That one thing I coach that team, that kid is going to touch that rock. He's not taking three or four <laughs> shots. Pressy. Taylor got a hand on it. The arrow will keep it with Mizzou. I tell you, he makes himself big and wide down there in the post. Look at him down in the post. I mean, he makes himself big and wide. And Johnson down with the rebound off the Missouri miss. Kansas pushing again. Good job getting back. Going to make him play five on five. Back door cut. Oh, nice Taylor. Score the basket. basket. Score the basket. I mean, Taylor's having a monster game. 14 for Taylor. You who averages 16.7 a game. You and I had him over against Baylor when he beat Baylor and played sensations. He had 28 and 6. Kevin Young will check into the game for the first time now. A junior, a transfer from Loyola Marymount, as Robinson sits down. So look at this lineup now for Kansas with Young, Tehan, Relaford, Johnson, and Taylor. This is about as small as Kansas can get. So really, in essence, they're playing into the hands of Missouri. Missouri and Nader have their big people on the sideline. Daneman. A little bit of an out of control shot there. Rebound for Young. Back come the Jayhawks with a ball and a three point lead. Tell what confidence Taylor has. You can just see it. That swag, the way he bounces the ball. He feels it, man. He feels he knows that PT Peer like you. Right? <laughs> you guys just know. I don't have swag. No, you got I'm swag. sitting beside no, swag no, here. I got no swag. I must <laughs> Taylor is fouled and will shoot a couple. Michael Dixon protesting the call, but to no avail. It's his first. You know, Dixon made that big play, and he really had a little problem early when he had an offensive flagrant foul that right. cost a four point possession. But then he hit the game winner moments later, Monday night in Austin. Nobody lost more people to the NBA when you talk quality in Texas. And they're struggling in the bottom half of the Big 12 right now as a result. Taylor to the line. Big Monday features two college basketball games here on ESPN. It starts at the Big East at 7 Eastern. Connecticut takes on the Louisville Cardinals. And then you mentioned Texas. They'll take on Texas A&M. Big Monday presented by Bud Light. A part of Rivalry Week on ESPN, ESPN3, and also streaming live on WatchESPN.com. Oh, what a week. I can't wait. I got Kentucky, Florida, Tuesday. Duke, Carolina, Wednesday. And then we have Vanderbilt, Kentucky, Saturday. Not bad. Not bad. Get paid for it. <laughs> wow. Go to Big Blue Nation Tuesday. A violation on Kevin Young. That's a second lane violation on Kansas we've had here on free throws already. Playing a soft man to man. English into the contact. Handed it off to Moore for the jam. Nice play right there off triple penetration. Missouri likes to do a lot off the bounce of the ball. Attack 101, create numbers. I mean, look at options to score right now. Certainly, Taylor's got to be their option. No Robinson, no Whippy in the game. They play on. Follow no good. Knocked out of bounds. Missouri ball. Missouri's got to take advantage of this. Right now, the edge talent wise certainly goes to Missouri. You've got to take advantage of this. Missouri, as much as any team in the country, they can put the ball on the deck and get inside. English lost it. Moore found it. Must be a big game. Seems like half of the former Missouri Tiger football programs back here. All these guys in the NFL. There's Blaine Gabbert, Jeremy Macklin's here. Big night. 
a big night. All these guys have come back, football stars. They're going to get a lot of football when they go to the SEC. <laughs> Alabama, Nick Saban. Are we going to get Florida? I mean, Auburn. Are you kidding me? Hey, I'm going to tell you this. I really think it's chaotic what's happened in college athletics. A Missouri doesn't belong in the SEC. It's flat as can be. I agree with Norm Stewart. I read some of his quotes. They belong here. Think about all the rivalries now that are going to come to an end. You got here this rivalry. Think about, for example, Syracuse. No longer we're going to see Syracuse Georgetown, Syracuse Connecticut, Pittsburgh West Virginia, Texas, Texas A&M. I mean, that is really, really sad that those things are all going to basically come to an end. Again, we don't know if Kansas will play Missouri anymore in the basketball. The decisions were made. The conference realignment is Dixon. Hits the three. They were football decisions. Cash, cash. We all understand right. There's a bottom line, right? It's, it's, it's all about the money, but the, the impact football. is being felt in so many other sports and by so many other student athletes and fans. Robinson surrounded. Has to give it up. 13 lead changes now in the first half. All you and I know is it would be a shame if these two programs didn't play each other. Absolutely. So. Taylor for three. Denman having a huge first half. Good move, though, by Bill Self to get back Robinson. I think he was smelling a little spurt by Missouri. Denman now did with 14 points, five rebounds for the Tigers. It's been Denman and Taylor. Yep. They've been really the stars of stars for their teams. English with eight for Missouri. Robinson with six for Kansas, the second leading scorers. Dixon the reverse. I'll tell you one thing, he will point out quickly at 21 the other night against Texas. Very quick with the basketball. Plus, I like it because he's going to person in me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know who's got a crush on? Oh. Holly Rowe. Wow. He said it today. He said it on game day this morning. Wow. Robinson, good position, too strong. And English is fouled by Tehan. You know, it's really amazing that they are really rebounding almost on an equal basis right now. Missouri. There he goes. The one on one, and that's the reverse. He uses the basket to seal off the defensive player. See, when I look at Missouri's composition here, team. You asked earlier, really good question. Can they go to the Final Four? I think the one factor, when you start playing the likes in advance and really get far in the tournament, you meet that size of the Anthony Davises and people like Terrence Jones, yeah. Syracuse with Fab Mello. I said earlier this year, and I'll say it again. Syracuse with their full cast would not lose a game during a regular season. I don't know about postseason. They got Fab Mello back today, and they won by 25. Kentucky, of course, has a ton of size, athleticism, shot blocking ability, but Missouri has proven they went down to Baylor and beat them. Now here they are against Kansas, granted at home with the lead. You know, I like Baylor, but a guy like Jones plays a little bit on the yes. perimeter. A oh, steal. It's an 11 to nothing run for the Tigers. What a spurt. They're explosive. That's a T.O., baby. They're rocking and rolling here in Columbia. So quick in the passing lanes, Dick, and they get a lot of offense off their defense. Yeah, they really do a terrific job. Anticipate really well. Step in the lane. Convert. Kansas actually has kept them from converting off the steal. What an environment here. And as we said, what a shame it would be if these two programs didn't play each other after this year. For more, here's Holly Rose. Well, I was able to catch up with the athletic directors from both programs today to see what's the future of this series. I talked to Missouri AD Mike Alden. He said, look, we want to play Kansas. We want to continue the series in every sport. But when I spoke with the athletic director for Kansas, Shay Zinger, he said, look, we're not the ones that went anywhere. He said that the, the quote from Kim Mulkey when asked about Texas A&M leaving was a good one. Hey, it's like your husband divorcing you and then asking if he can come back and date you. They're just not ready to date right now. <laughs> and, and there are some hard feelings on both sides of this relationship. And, and you can be sure 
that other Big 12 institutions feel the way Kansas feels, obviously, because it's Missouri that up and left the conference. And don't be shocked. Obviously, there are a lot of people from the Big 12 calling Kansas and say, don't play them. Very bitter that they left. A Missouri turnover. 46 seconds away from the UPS halftime report with Reese, Hubert, Digger, and Jay. Baylor's battle with Oklahoma State. Another big game in the Big 12, and yet another milestone win for Syracuse's Hall of Fame coach, Jim Bayhawk. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing, too. They have big news on his campus and recruited. They were able to recruit the number one receiver That's in right. the country. He's here. Dor is he here? He's Dorio here. Yeah. He's a Randy Moss man, a 6'6". He's quick, a big fella. Great hands. Time out of Mizzou to try to set it up for one last good look here in the first half. Back in Columbia with Dick Vitale and Holly Rowe. I'm Dan Shona. Saturday primetime presented by Direct TV. There's your guy, Dorio Green Beckham from Springfield, Missouri, the number three ranked recruit on the ESPNU top one. Tell you one thing, they say he's got great hands, great speed, almost went to Arkansas, broke the heart of Bobby Petrino by deciding to come into Missouri, and he will be tested big time. When you look at that SEC, and you got to play the likes of Alabama, Florida, Auburn, company, wow. I tell you, first trip for game day, basketball version to come to Columbia. And what a trip it has been. What timing with the team playing as well as they are. Phenomenal atmosphere this morning with the game day guys in a great first half, great environment here tonight. Five seconds. Dixon inside. Ratliff can't finish. And the first half will come to a close here with the Missouri Arena. Tyshawn Taylor leading all scores with 17 points, half of Kansas's points. Marcus Denham with 16, Kim English with 10. Missouri leads. Frank Haith is with Holly Rowe. Well, Coach, what do you think of the first half of your first border war so far? Intense, hard fought. Uh, you know, guys are battling out there. We're battling on the boards. So we're doing what we need to do. How has getting to the free throw line been a big difference for you in this first half? Well, we have to. We got to continue to attack. We got to pressure. I mean, put pressure on them by driving the ball and throwing the ball inside. And how did getting them in a little bit of foul trouble also help your cause? Well, we're in foul trouble. We caught a rap, then Holly played that half. All right, Coach, we'll keep our eye on it. All right, Holly, thank you. Good first half foul trouble for both teams, and neither team that deep. Missouri leads Kansas 39-34. When we come back, Reese Davis and the guys deliver the UPS halftime report from Columbia. Back to Saturday primetime, presented by DirecTV. A good first half here at Mizzou Arena with the number four Missouri leading number eight Kansas by five. Other than I'm slightly unsettled by the Dickie V for president sign that we uh -oh. saw down there. Other than that, it's all good. What would you think of the first half? Well, you know, I think when it really comes down to free throw line. Yeah. You look at Missouri, plus five on the scoreboard, plus five from the free throw line. And all year they've gone to the line way more than their opponents. I think it's a key for Kansas to keep them off the line. Yeah and also for Kansas to find a way to get Mr. Robinson to be aggressive. I don't think he was aggressive enough offensively. Also, Whippy for Kansas and Ratcliffe for Ratcliffe for Missouri had some foul trouble. We'll keep an eye on that if they're more effective in the second half. Let's check in with Holly Rowe. Well, guys, you're talking right about what Bill Self was turned about. Too many fouls in that first half. He said, we've got to do a better job guarding the ball, keeping that guy in front of us. And then he said, we gave up six points off the free throw line by fouling the rebounder. He said, we've just got to play defense with our head and our feet, not with our hands. But he's also concerned about they're not getting the ball inside to Thomas Robinson. He said, they're not guarding us on the perimeter. They're packing it in. We've got to make them pay outside. You know, Holly, I just said that. They're going to bring the ball to the big guy. And there it is right there, Holly. We're going to make you a coach, Holly. Bring the ball inside. I mean, the guy's an All-American. 8.7 rebounds now for Robinson. Did not get a lot of touches in the first half. He's four for six from the floor. You know, I was talking to some of the writers, Jason King, our guy, Pat Forty. I was talking to Yahoo and these guys. The same thing. He's got to be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, Bill Self referenced Robinson needing to fight for position and demand the basketball when we spoke to him this morning at shoot around. Missouri started out with a 
zone here to start the second half because of the size differential. And a Missouri turnover. So what a performance by Taylor in that first half. Robinson won't get the roll. At least he went to the goal. He tried to score. Yeah, Taylor and Denman sensational in the first half. Denman behind the back. Pressy picks it up. No look to English. Can't let him shoot the ball. That's why some club is going to absolutely give him a chance. That man could flat out shoot the rock, Dan. 13 points now for English. His first three of the game, and the lead is six. Neither team is led by more than seven. There were 13 lead changes in the first half. Robinson goes and gets it and is fouled as well. He should have such a big edge inside offensively on the glass with that physical strength, the hands. Well, Matt Pressy. They have announced that Matt Pressy got the foul. Ratliff was in the vicinity as well. It's uh, it's a break for Mizzou if it's Pressy. If it had been Ratliff, it would have been his third. And now Frank Haith he thought it was Ratliff. Ratliff too. He was sending more into the game, and when he heard the announcement that it was Pressy, right. he sent more back to the bench. You know, if officials not sure in that situation, they could go to the monitor and make certain. Robinson completes the three-point play. I got a feeling you're going to see a big half out of Robinson here in the second half. I think they really told him at halftime. That's why Coach Self is such a big-time winner. He knows what's happening. He told Holly, we got to get the ball into the All-American. Phenomenal record for Bill Self in his ninth season as coach of Kansas. Of course, the national championships in 2008. Seven Big 12 regular season championships and a winning percentage did of better than 83 percent. But right now, He's got a concern, and that concern is named Kim English. Yeah, somebody's got to find him. Somebody's got to match up with him. Can't allow him to shoot the ball. See, he's trying to drive with him. you got to bring the ball into with him inside. Robinson, a little bit short. Rebound Ratliff. Ratliff can run the court, too. Bill Pressy. Marcus Denman. And Whiffy down to the rebound. Not a big factor in the first half because of the foul trouble. Relifer too strong. Johnson follows it up. He's a real good athlete, Johnson. Very versatile. Gives you a lot of little things. Can guard people. He can make a three. And Frank Haith is unhappy with the Tigers' inability to protect the glass at the defensive end. Moore's coming in. Dixon's coming in. Matt Pressy off balance. Johnson leads the Jayhawks. See, Whitney's got to walk the ball inside. They're matching him up with a 6-5 guy. You got to bring him the ball. And he's been a double-figure scorer his last six games. Throw it into him. Relaford wants door. to. He lobs it. Whitney saves it. Robinson oh. lost it on the way up. Got it back and finishes. Boy, he is playing with some determination here in the second half. He's a different player. His mindset, you can see the aggressive play. Whitney the steal. Kansas looking for the lead. And they've got it. Great jam. Get a T.O. And Frank Hank not happy at all. He is not a happy camper. Terrific job on Kansas defensively. Getting up in transition. Easy baskets in transition for the Jayhawks. Timeout, Mizzou. First and second round coverage of the Masters coming in April on ESPN. Uh, when I think about Kansas, I think about uh, big rivalry between us and them, hatred between fans. If you want to win the Big 12, no doubt it has to go through Kansas. I anticipate it being a, a very vibrant crowd and uh, enthusiastic uh, uh, environment. Well, Frank Haith was very enthusiastic in that last Missouri huddle. Guys, he is so fired up right now. He was yelling at his guys, if you want to win this game, you've got to be all in every possession. He was so angry that Steve Moore allowed Thomas Robinson to push him out of the way and score on that last basket. He said, you will make him score over you. You make him go over us. He wants his guys running harder after missed layups, and look how they're getting down the floor right here. Yeah, Moore racing back on D. Holly. Great point to make sure Withy doesn't get an uncontested layup. Some easy scores for Kansas. Yeah, really did a great job in transition. And Robinson came out so aggressive. Elijah Johnson makes it a three-point lead. You know, eight points, second chance points, zero for Missouri. 
English with the floater, way short. It's an 8-0 run for Kansas. Okay, they are in one of those spurts right now. Johnson feeling it. Not this time. Here's Phil Pressy. Doing a great job defensively getting back in transition, though. A turnover. Relaford one-on-one -on -one with English. Crowd wanted a push in the back on Wesley. Look at Bill Self, man. He's running that sideline. He's running that sideline. Is he in the way? The border war, baby. The border war. Jonathan Cochin here in studio. We've got a battle going on over on ESPN2. Old Miss, Alabama, one-point game. They're in double overtime. This is the second time in less than a month that Ole Miss has gone into double OT. We'll keep you up to date on that one. Full night of highlights coming up later on Sports Center. Gentlemen, back to you in Columbia. All right, Coach, thank you. Frank Cave still unhappy, probably more unhappy with his own team than he is with the officials. Kansas on an 8 to nothing run right now to take a three-point lead here early in the second half. You know, Dan, one of the reasons for that unbelievable spur we've seen is you look at Missouri, the last six possessions, they have zero for four with two turnovers. Kansas getting out, getting some easy baskets as a result. Denman elevates for three. With the rebound in traffic. I mean, the first four minutes here in the half, Robinson's three for five. He was three for five for the entire first yeah, half. He's really working here in the second half. He wants the ball. He wants the ball. He's a different player. His coach got into his head. Ratliff guarding Robinson. English on Withy. Robinson almost had the offensive rebound. Now Withy does. Shot clock didn't reset. Out of bounds. Missouri ball. Really sloppy by Missouri right now in this second half. They have not played well at all. Tomorrow, ESPNU is your home for ACC basketball. It's Miami at number five Duke. A special start time tomorrow. No doubt at three Eastern time. ACC Sunday Night Basketball presented by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. It's supposed to be a rivalry. Bill Self is 17 and three against Missouri. 17 and three. Dixon. They needed that one. Tell you what, he makes big plays, makes big shots. Dixon, English, Denman. Tough kid. They got to get the crowd back in the game. Maybe they'll get him a lift. They went a little silent. He is a tough kid, man. They don't win Monday night in Austin without him. They want the ball inside to Robinson. Robinson comes up top to get it. Driving on Ratliff, left-handed layup is good. I'm telling you right now, he's my choice as player of the year. Nothing's changed in my mind as of today. If I was cast to my ballot, and right behind him, closing the gap, I would have Anthony Davis of right. Kentucky. Here he comes. And Doug McDermott is having a terrific year for three. Three-point lead, Kansas. That Robinson basket again quieted the crowd just for a moment. English. That arrived him up again. The three, baby, the three ball has revolutionized the game, and they utilize it so well here in Missouri. 18 for English. The Antlers now go a little bananas. The Zoo crew gets a little wild. So far, they've controlled Taylor a little bit. The second half. Relaford somehow forced it up and in. You know, guys that don't get in front of it all, and are really solid contributors, the Relafords, the Johnsons. Yeah. I mean, they got a great combo inside, outside with Taylor and Robinson. And Relaford staying on Marcus Denman, his high school rival. They're both from Kansas City, and they played each other against each other for four years in high school. Denman driving on Relaford, and we've got a reach-in foul on Kansas. Yeah, Relaford reached in right there after getting beat. His third. The dribble. There's Relaford at the other end, just forcing up a prayer that is answered. Tehan for Whiffy. Meanwhile, as Bill Self again goes much smaller. Now Robinson and Ratliff will be on one another, and Tehan's on English. You know, I think the quickness of the game is really, uh, great play there. The quickness of the game has affected Whitney. I really do. I think the tempo, the yep. pace. Unbelievable noise again. You know, the timeout by Frank Dave was big when he was struggling. Robinson unstoppable here in the second half. Just a matter of wanting the ball and utilizing his great hands, his foot speed, quickness. He's going to be one heck of a player at the next level. 
He really is strong. I mean, this kid is just, remember this, hasn't played a whole lot of basketball. Third foul on Ricardo Ratliff. Missouri might have gotten a break a couple of minutes ago when a foul was assessed to Matt Pressy instead of him. No such luck this time. Ratliff to the bench, Moore into the game. You know, when I made that statement about having played a lot of basketball, what I'm talking about is the fact last year he only played 14 minutes a game. It's his first year as a full starter. And a surefire All-American. Kansas by two. You know what else he possesses? The great attitude. Players like playing with him. Denman takes the bump and draws the foul. Nice sportsmanship right there. Two shots coming. That was his second. That was the second. the foul. Denman to the line for two free throws. You talked about what a good free throw shooting team Missouri is. Denman is one of the big reasons. He and Michael Dixon are both over 90% and they're both in the top 10 in the country in free throw shooting. You know how big that is, especially in close games, coming down the wire. No, I was thinking about it here. You asked me earlier about them. One team, I think, that could give them all kinds of trouble and that's so much I really think is matchups when you get to the tournament. But if they had a matchup with North Carolina, I think Zeller, Henson, and Barnes inside would really create problems. Tyshawn Taylor's going to get a breather, probably a very brief one, just until the under-12 media timeout. Freshman Nadir Tharp from Worcester Mass is into the game. Talented, but has had some trouble in recent games, coughing the ball up as soon as he gets into the game. Johnson will handle it this possession. You know, a kid like Tharp knows his minutes are limited. A little tense. Looking for Robinson inside. Relliford finds an open tee hand. Got it. And that's what they want him on the floor to do. Make the three. And as you said earlier, he's been slumping shooting the ball. But he's always been a capable shooter. First points of the night for tee hand. 35% from beyond the arc on the season. But in conference play, just 26%. Okay, over the years, everybody, you know, Kansas takes the best shot. They meet such hostile crowds. And they usually respond. Moore hits the deck, and Frank Hape will get a timeout call to retain possession for Missouri. Now, the big fellas have really been going at it here in the second half. Robinson and Ratliff matched up on one another a little bit more often. Ratliff got the better of Robinson on the inbounds play, but Thomas Robinson has had the answer on a number of occasions, powering his way up for basket after basket here in the second half. And that's why Kansas has the lead here on the road. Ratliff also on the bench right now with three fouls. Yeah, that's certainly big with the three right now on Ratliff. Because when he comes back on the floor, they're going to go right at him. What does this game mean in the context of the Big 12? Kansas, Baylor, Missouri. And hey, Iowa State at 7-3. But if we focus on the top three, they've all still each got to play the other two once after tonight's game. And really, it's anybody's conference right now. Any of the three programs can come away with the Big 12 regular season title, which would also possibly mean a number one seed. And think about this in the Big 12 St. tournament. Louis, St. Louis Regional. Right. And even before that, if you win the Big 12 regular season and everything goes the way you would expect it to, you wouldn't have to play one of the other two in the semifinals. You would avoid a game with one of the other two until the finals. There is a ton at stake in this game tonight. Powell on Robinson, his second. Timeout on the floor. Jayhawks by four. Zaire Tater tries to win it. He has it. 1.3 seconds left. Aldridge puts up the crowd. It's been a rivalry that began more than a hundred years ago between Missouri and Kansas. Uh, going back to the early stages of the 20th century. Dates back to 1907. They've been in the same league for 104 years. Wow. That is ending after this season. It began in the Missouri Valley Intercollegiate Athletic Association. The first game ever between these two programs, Dick, was on this date. In 1908, February 4th, 1908. I was here. You were I here. Saw that game. You were doing. You were. Really, I you, saw that yeah, game. you were doing that game. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a 21 to 20 win for Missouri. Here is Holly Rowe. 
Well, guys, what people have to remember, this rivalry was actually born in war after Quantrill's rebellion when he went into Lawrence and killed over 100 people. But Frank Cade in his first year from Missouri said, I'm just getting to learn about the rivalry. His equipment guy, Kit Wysoska, actually gave him the movie with Clint Eastwood in it, the outlaw Josie Wells, which documents that hatred back then. He thought it was important that his first year head coach knew just how hateful this rivalry is. And it is hateful. That's a good word for it. I made a mistake. It was the first Kansas win ever in the rivalry came back on this date in 1908. The rivalry dates back to 1907. Will it continue beyond 2012? Tell you one thing, I'm getting a great history lesson between <laughs> you and Holly here. I mean, Dr. Rowe and Dr. Schulman, right? What about Robinson? You got another deuce. They've dominated him in the paint here in the second half. 19 for Robinson. Second half, it's been 18 to 2. Kansas inside. English misses the three. Robinson another rebound. That is his 16th double double now on the season. He's averaging 17-12. There's only two other Jayhawks that have done that. Will Chamberlain and Clyde Lavelle. Johnson looking for Robinson. Why not? Ratliff on the bench with three fouls. Robinson's pass thrown away. Caught the ball in a wrong angle and wrong position in the floor. He's going to get a little breather right now. Whitney's coming in. And really, Kansas more and more the deeper they get into this game, only going with one of those two big guys on the court. They're matching up going smaller with Missouri. You know, Whitney's had really a terrific year. When you look at the block shots, leads the conference. Get about seven rebounds a game, about ten points a game. Yeah, a couple of years ago, I don't know that anybody would have thought he would have become this big of a factor for Kansas. Tonight, that's been the game of my speed. And over and back on Missouri. Sloppy, really sloppy. Eleventh turnover committed by a team that does a very good job taking care of the basketball, but not so much tonight. They've only given up ten turnovers a game. I mean, they're getting themselves in a little danger position here. And maybe that's why Frank Cage is bringing a Ratliff back in. Got to bring him in. He's at five, under ten minutes left. He's got three fouls. You can't wait. You've got to play your big guy. Leads the nation in field goal percentage. they got to get him some looks. I'll tell you what they've done a great job, Kansas. Stopping the penetration, not allowing the dribble penetration by pressing. To create the numbers and the layups. Taylor, baseline, got it. First deuce here in the second half by Taylor. Had that big first half. Dick, this is the largest lead of the night for the Kansas Jayhawks. And it's also the danger zone for Missouri. Hey, Kansas has done a great job taking that speed, making them play five on five. Dixon, another big shot at a critical time. I call him big shot, Dixon. I mean, he makes big, big plays. How badly do they need that big three? 11 for Dixon, the deficit down to four. Defense not creating any turnovers for layups in transition. A lot of teams, they rattle with their defense. And back in the zone. Taylor driving, lost it. Missouri ball. Is Michael Dixon now? Says, why not? I'll just shoot right over the top of the defense. Such a luxury to have Bill Pressey and Michael Dixon. You know, you'll always have one, and most of the time, two outstanding point guards in the game at the same time. Bill Pressey on the bench right now. Matt Pressey with the layup. Nice little drive by Matt Pressey. And a little matchup right there with Taylor and Dixon. Bill likes what he sees from his big brother. First points of the night for the senior, Matt Pressy, to make it a two-point game. You know, a lot of pride at stake here. A lot of pride. We talk about CDs and we talk about all that. But the pride is you see the conversion on the drive by Pressy. Cuts it to two. But the real pride factor is this might be the last game between these two. And you want those bragging rights. You want to feel this is my home. Yeah. You're not coming yeah. on my floor and beat us on our floor. You're not coming here, Danny Schumann. You're not coming here. <laughs> I'll throw you out of this place. And you know I'm, what? I'm going to bring you here. And you know what? What? They're going to be saying the same thing up at Lawrence in three weeks. Can you imagine what it's going to be like in Lawrence in three weeks? I know, but we're not going to be here. We could, we could uh, show up. Uh, I we could show up. That place would be 
Johnny Rock is yeah. big time. But you're right, my friend. This is big. It's big for bragging rights. It's big for pride. It's big, as she said. Hey, the kid said it really well. When you think about English, he said you got to go through Lawrence yeah. to win the Big 12. The Jayhawks have won the last seven in a row. Three of them shared, four of them outright. But Missouri is a threat to their conference supremacy, and certainly Missouri is an enormous threat on the national scene as well this year. Never won the Big 12, though, since the inception of 1996. Well, this will be their last opportunity going to the SEC next year. Robinson surrounded, still gets the finish. You know, it's amazing how he got that off in traffic with like three, four guys converging on him. All of a sudden, 21 points for Thomas Robinson. He's going to be a very good NBA pro for yes. He really is. Good power guy down in the box. Going to play a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one. Denman with 20. It's a one-point game. And the slump is over for Mr. Denman. And we're going to have ourselves a heck of a finish in the board of war. Corner three, Johnson no, rebound Ratliff, Mizzou can take the lead. Got to back it out, doesn't have anything, got to bring it out. Denman feeling it. Bad Too shot. quick, yeah. Bad shot there. He's a veteran player, should know better than that. One of the many seniors on this Missouri program. It's a one-point game, Kansas with the ball and the lead. They're trying to match up out of that zone. Robinson misses the jumper. Well, they'll allow him to shoot that. They'll allow him to take the 15-footer. They don't want him on a box inside. Under seven minutes to play. Taylor and Dixon, really good matchup. Taylor learned how to play man-to-man -man before he arrived here with the Bob Hurley. Nice curl move. And great defense by Johnson to anticipate the pass. He did a great job sliding right in front of Ratliff. They were looking for Ratliff for a jam inside. Self wants the ball going inside. Withy's not even looking to turn and make a play, kicking it right back out. Look at the size advantage he has yeah. inside. Robinson, no, but a foul on Ratliff. Four. His fourth. Look at Frank Hayden. Oh, Frank Hayden, not a happy guy. A critical moment in this game. Four on Ricardo Ratliff. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by DirecTV. If you call yourself a sports fan, you got to get DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. And in part by Hyundai. If it's fuel efficient, affordable, stylish, and safe, it's probably a Hyundai. And Red Lobster. It's back. Red Lobster's four-course seafood feast for only $15. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Jonathan Coachman here at the studio update. It has finally gone final over on ESPN2. Good one, double overtime. Alabama Old Miss. Andrew Steele beats the shot clock. Alabama beats Old Miss. Dan, Dick, thank you. All right, Coach, thank you. Meanwhile, here in Columbia, somebody threw something on the court after that last foul call on Ricardo Ratliff that led us into the timeout, and an official warning was given on the PA system here at Mizzou Arena. If anything else is thrown onto the court, it'll be a technical foul assessed against Missouri. That well, was really good. I really, really respect that. You can't have any of that happen. Somebody injured, somebody hurt. Dan Shulman, Dick Vitale, Holly Rowe, Saturday primetime presented by DirecTV. It has lived up to the height. Kansas and Missouri in a dogfight here tonight in Columbia. It's going to be interesting to see how long he goes with Rattle up on the sideline. Remember, they don't have a lot of size. They got four on the floor right now. Rattle has four, leads the nation in field goal percentage. You're down one, 622. How long does he wait?
Big Monday features a couple of great games on ESPN. It all starts at 7 Eastern. Uh, part of Rivalry Week as Connecticut takes on Louisville. Then at 9 Eastern, Texas and Texas A&M. Big Monday presented by Bud Light, a part of Rivalry Week on ESPN and ESPN3. Three-point lead, Jayhawks. Robinson made them both. He's got 23 on the night. You know, Missouri's two of their last four games have been one-point W's over Baylor and Texas, both on a road. Relaford called for the foul. That will be his fourth foul. Get on the bonus ship. And Johnson will take the place of Relaford. Neither team is near the bonus right now. Kansas has committed four fouls, Missouri three. Dixon launches, and he is rounded by Taylor and will shoot three free throws. Not a smart play by a veteran player like Taylor. Got to go up. You can't make contact in that situation. Clock stops. You give him a chance to tie the game. Dixon, 91% on the season, but he has missed one tonight. He's one for two tonight. Wow. How unusual. 91% shooter goes to the line. He's missed two already tonight. Well, he's not going to miss this one. I'll tell you that. He's too good a shooter. Frank's finding a little bit about the intensity of the emotion. He knows something about it. 17 and 3. He is against Missouri. Bill Suck. Two of three, one point game. Ratliff on the bench with four fouls. Phil Pressey on the bench as well. Six minutes to go, they're on their feet. They both have to be on the floor. No later than the four minute mark. They're gonna hold, trying to come across the lane. Moore bumping on Robinson. Again, not in the bonus, and just the first on Moore. English trying to give him a little lesson right there. You can't yeah. grab him. You can't grab him. You know where they're looking. You know where they're thinking. Mr. Robinson, take us home, baby. Bring us to Lawrence. Get on a bus. Two and a half hour drive. And let's celebrate. He's got 23, 17 of them in the second half. The kick to Johnson. Missed a wide open three. Good inside outside action. Yep. Brought the ball to the post. Got it to the wide open shooter. The Tigers can take the lead on this trip. They got Dixon now being played by T. Han. Good steal right there. T. Han takes it away on the errant pass by Matt Pressey. And Phil Pressey's going to come back into the game. 13 of Missouri turnovers. See, look at the size advantage that Whitney has on the inside with English. But he's not doing anything trying to get free for the ball. Tehan, yes. Another three from the corner by Connor Tehan. And he is whooping something serious to Marcus Denman on his way back down the court. You know, how big has he been? He's made two big threes. He created a turnover with yeah. the steal. You talk about pro producing off the bench. He's defending English at this end of the court. Elijah Johnson trying to stay with Denman. Hey, one thing they've silenced this crowd. Mm -hmm. Dixon. Long rebound to Denman. Bill Pressey, Ricardo Ratliff will check into the next opportunity. I felt that the four minute mark, they have to come in. And now four now. Matt Pressey for three. He's yeah. not the guy you want to shoot the foot. Not when you got shooters like English and Denman, people like Dixon. Watch T. Hand right now. He's going to come right in the passing lane. Heck, I could have made that steal. I really could have. That was a poor block, but this is big. I couldn't make I'm this. I'm not sure you knocked down no, that No, shot. I yeah. couldn't make that. No offense. I couldn't make that. What a hand flying on me. So Kansas has a four-point lead of the ball as we near the final four minutes of regulation. And maybe the final four minutes ever on this floor in the border wall. Robinson again. Turnaround. Got it. How what a big, talent. How big has he been here in the second half? 19 in the second half, 25 on the night. He has silenced the crowd. His possession becomes big. They need a little momentum. 
They're a little stagnant right now, not getting any motion. Kansas leading the Big 12 standings at 8 and 1. Missouri's a game back at 7 and 2. And Kansas trying to get out of hostile territory with a road win here tonight. And if they get it, it'll be because Mr. Robinson delivered here in the second half. A game high 25 on the night. KU leads by six. Super Bowl Sunday starts here. Key sits down with Belichick. And who helped turn the Giants' season around? Then, NFL primetime after the game. ESPN has you covered on Super Bowl Sunday. Hi, I'm Steve. With Hume Sports Center follows the game. Dan and Dick with post-game coverage from Mizzou. We'll show you which ranked teams went down today, including a shocker out west. And Super Bowl Eve, you won't believe the move Bill Belichick made today. Sports Center after the game. Well, Thomas Robinson, plain and simple, has just taken over the game on the inside into the second half. 19 points in the second half, 25 points on the night, 11 rebounds as well. Your midseason player of the year nationally. And it's hard to argue with what he's done so far this season. Well, those are the guys I would right now today. Put them in this order in my voting today. I think these five guys have had a phenomenal year. Sullinger was big, especially in the first half today. In that win at Wisconsin, Kevin Jones has been sensational all year for West Virginia. So is McDermott. And my vote would go slightly, as I love Anthony Davis. He's the best freshman in America. Robinson again. He's 8 for 11 here in the second half. Taylor to the baseline with a jam, and Kansas has its largest lead of the game. So that inside outside combination of Taylor and Robinson is as good as you're going to find in the Big 12. And maybe you can match that up the way they're playing now with any combo in the country. No question. Three minutes to go. What a great job by Kansas defensively, really not allowing dribble penetration for the layups inside that they're getting in so many clubs. Potentially bragging rights for all eternity in this rivalry. They will meet again in Lawrence in three weeks, but this could be the last game ever here between the two programs. With the shot clock running down, crowd thought that Robinson might have interfered and touched the ball, interfered, and your, which would have made it a basket, but the officials did not see it that way. Right now, manager, the clock is big. You want to take good shots. Robinson, not this time, got it back. Over Moore, he travels. Tried to do too much right there. Could have brought the ball back outside and taken some time off the clock. See, so many times kids we've talked about this dad really are unaware yes. of situations, time. That's what Bill Self just said. He pointed to his temple and said, think, pass the ball, pass the ball. Now, what a winner this guy has been. 255 and 50 at Kansas. 462, 155 overall. That tells me ultimately, in about five years, we're talking Hall of Fame. I mean, the numbers yeah. are going to be unreal. He's already center. won one national championship, numerous regular season and conference tournament titles. Hey. Denman inside. Nice drive by Denman. You expect your veteran player to come up and make a big play. Chance for a three point opportunity. Trying to get this crowd back in action. They've been fired up all day. A oh, nice little stutter dribble. Nice stutter dribble. Protected the ball really well. Squared his body to the basket. Third on Robinson. And Denman at the line. More for Ratliff. Frank Hayes is bringing more in for defense and then getting Ratliff back in for offense. Remember, Ratliff's got four fouls. Now they're going to look Michael Anderson style when he was here. Full court pressure. Got to go to some full court pressure. It's going to come down to the free throw line. Convert on the free throw line if you can. This should win the game. Missouri's only committed four fouls this half. Keep that in mind. Yeah, they got another foul to give. Two, actually. Two to give. Kansas will run the clock down. For a while, anyways, until Robinson wave it off. An offensive foul is the call. He got some little hook on the arm. What a great drop step. That's one of those real questionable calls. I mean, what a great drop step. Watch this right here. Oh, I don't know where you see an offensive foul there. That's a bad, bad call. That's a bad, bad call. That's a bad call. 
Number four on Robinson. Suddenly things are tightening up here. A little guard job right there. Denman. Got it! Oh, what a big three. How big is Denman been? How big was the game? We got a ball game now, Schumann. We got a ball game for the Bragger Rides in the most border war. Denman with two big plays, the last two possessions. Missouri took advantage of a great opportunity after that charge call on Robinson. Denman now with 26. This was no routine three. Coming off a screen, having to go straight up vertically instead of drifting and knocking it down. Tough shot. That was a big time trifecta. A big time trifecta, but he's been a big time player all year. Struggled a little bit shooting the ball. Big 12 competition. Tomorrow, ESPNU is your home for ACC basketball. It'll be number five, Duke. Hosting Miami down at Cameron Indoor Stadium. ACC Sunday Night Basketball presented by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups Wednesday night. Duke at Carolina. 9 Eastern here on ESPN. Carolina uh, picked up a road win today at Maryland. Yeah. Marshall is sensational. And Tuesday night I'll be down with Brown Nestler. For Florida comes in with a seven-game win streak against Kentucky. One week from tonight, Kentucky at Vanderbilt. His game court. day will be there, but this one ain't over yet. Full court pressure. Lots of time, Dick. Oh, plenty of time. Moore back in for Ratliff. Robinson in the game with four for Kansas. Kansas right now. Missouri could give another foul. They got a turnover. They got a turnover. Terrific job defensively. Shot selection so big now. Boys so big, a very experienced Missouri team. A lot of seniors. 20 to shoot. He wants to go to the basket. He wants to go to the basket. 26 already for Denman. He'll launch. He'll hit. He feels it. He feels it. He feels a good timeout by Bill Self. The officials have ruled it a two, but will go to the monitor to make sure. Unbelievable plays down the stretch by Marcus Demon. Oh, Marcus Demon has been magical. Marcus has been absolutely magnificent. The three up man. Right there, is he behind the line? Oh, that's a three. That's a three. That's big. a three. I mean, I got one bad eye, but that's why the right eye I'm looking. That looks like a three. And they have put another point on the scoreboard. Missouri has the lead. Good bit of officiating. They can serve it. Wow. Lunch can come down now with Robinson on the inside. Can they stop him? What a finish. The border war. Will this be the last time? Will it be the last time that they play here in Columbia? Kansas and Missouri. And remember this, if Missouri wants to win the Big 12, they better win tonight. Because, my friends, it will not be easy up in Lawrence on February 25th. Frank Hayes getting the crowd ripped into a frenzy. It's a 9-0 run to Missouri. Edmonds scored nine straight points. A foul called against Phil Pressy. How you can hear the whistle in this place is beyond me. First on Pressy, fifth on the team. No free throws. One more to give. Now one more to give. Make sure the ball doesn't go inside. The scoring range for Robinson. Now for Bill Self, this is the guy you want with the ball right now. Taylor to make the play for himself or for Robinson. Looking for himself, and he's fouled. He is so confident with the ball in his hands. He wants it late in the game. Foul on Dixon. Two free throws coming for Taylor. Ratliff getting ready to come back in. Well, they want him on the floor for offense. A 9-0 run is given to Missouri the lead. Taylor with the line, a 68% free throw shooter. A 9-0 run all by Denton. The antlers are going bananas on that baseline, and so is the zoo crew. He's shooting right into them. Yeah. 
the sub said you guys are gonna have a lot of fun tonight. He said, I may not have a lot of fun. He said, but you guys didn't tell us he that was right. in the locker room. He was right. We are stealing money tonight. Don't tell John Waha for our boys. We are stealing money. Oh, how big is this if you're a Kansas fan? Oh, he comes up empty. They're gonna take time off here, baby. Kansas will get the ball back no matter what. Only about a five and a half second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Dixon's a guy who likes to make plays at the end as well. Taylor the foul. Phil Pressey will go to the line. Missouri, as you mentioned, such a good free throw shooting team. Dixon and Denman are over 90. Pressey's at 77% on the season. This will be one and one. Pressy, one of the finalists for the Bob Cousy Award, along with Pierre Jackson. Scott Machado is terrific. Isaiah Cannon. More subs for Frank Hayes. Moore back in, Ratliff back out. But Kansas presumably about to get the ball back. He said strength. Strength for Missouri, the free throw line. They have been great all year on the line. Quiet night offensively for Phil Pressy. But he's going to make an awful lot of noise here with a couple of made free throws for the Tigers. Conversion here would make him a hero. Big man on campus. <laughs> Miss the oh. front end. Will Bill Self let him play it out or call a timeout? He wants a timeout. I don't roll it. I would get that timeout. You want to make sure the right people. He's going to play a little two-man game right now with Taylor and Robinson. Tyshawn Taylor missed two. Bill Pressy missed the front end of the one and one. Kansas has the ball with a chance to win it. You know, Pressy had an opportunity there. It's been a tough night for the Pressy kids shooting the ball. Prior to that, they were two for ten between them in shooting the basketball. And the big thing was, in this game, Phil Pressy has not been allowed to penetrate and create and dump the ball off for layups. All right, so if you're Bill Self. You've got Taylor, a guy who can get to the paint almost every time he wants to. You've got Robinson, as good an inside score as there is in the country. What do you do? Well, you're going to try to get a little two-man game. Your first option is going to be Robinson, but you want Taylor to drive as well. But not a great free throw shooter. So you really, you got to be careful here if you're Missouri of the offensive rebound, the size factor. Robinson, such a great rebounder. Many times the missed shot is the shot that really ends up hurting. Neither team has led by more than eight all night long, and it's Missouri still on that 9-0 run over the last couple of minutes that has given them the lead, but Kansas has the basketball. Sports Center is next here on ESPN. You know, you got to leave yourself a few seconds for the offensive rebound. You don't go right down yeah. to the last shot. If it was a tie game, I might go right to the last second. But right now, you want to give an opportunity to make a play if the shot is missed. Keep in mind, Missouri has committed six fouls, so any foul will send Kansas to the line. Kansas has the ball, and they do have one timeout remaining. Taylor's going to throw the ball in bounds and try to get it right back to him. Johnson will bring it over. Looking for Taylor. They're going to get it right back to him. Taylor looking for the drive. Offensive foul. Great defense. Incredible defense. Squared his body right in front of him and beat him to the spot. He beat him to the spot. Watch right here. Watch this great defense right there. A terrific job. Michael Dixon, Dixon. who switched on to Taylor when Johnson handed the ball off, takes the charge. Did a phenomenal job right there. Squared his body, beat him to the spot. And now a foul on Elijah Johnson. Michael Dixon kind of made that one happen, and he's going to the free throw line. And he's a guy you want at that free throw line. I don't care if he's missed two tonight. I don't care. He's a 90% free throw shooter. And Dick, it's the 10th foul on Kansas. It's two free throws, not one and one for Michael Dixon. You're still looking at a one possession game, yes. even on a conversion. Timeout Kansas, their last. 
Well, Kansas, it looks like they got what they wanted. The handoff for Taylor, he was looking to get inside. But Missouri so quick, they switched, and Dixon was there to take the well, charge. He, he was making the drive, but never once were they thinking of getting the ball inside to Robinson. I think what they were hoping, Robinson get on the offensive board for the missed shot. The guy who brought Missouri back offensively here for the that, last few minutes, Marcus Denman, just shot after shot after shot. Yeah, he made nine points in a row when they were in trouble. I mean, they talked earlier, Dan, about that. He was challenged on that shot. And here he is right now. Gonna want the ball back. And he's shooting over the top of defense, defensive players. denman has been a PT beer man, a prime time performer. Denman the star, but right now all eyes on the man at the free throw line, the junior from Kansas City, Michael Dixon. You know, I said a little bit earlier, two of the last four games, they've won by one point on the road. So they've been in these mailbox matches. And the last game they won on a game winning shot by Michael Dixon. You know, Kansas led 71 63. No timeouts for Kansas. Even with a make, it's a one possession game. Got to put some pressure to slow him down a little bit. Slow him down. See, I would have got the five seconds or more. I wouldn't let him shoot that three. Taylor. So I would let him shoot the three. I'd foul him, man. I wouldn't let him get a three off. But don't foul him, I was shooting the three. Johnson. Missouri wins. Frank Hayes gets a little feeling of what the border war is about. And it's a joyous feeling. The Missouri Tigers closed the game on an 11 to nothing run. And they win what just might have been the last game ever between these two schools here in this building. And here in this city in Columbia. They'll meet again in Lawrence. That could be it for a rivalry that stretches back more than 100 years. Just such a tough loss for Kansas, which looked like they had the game in hand, Dick, with a couple of minutes left. They really did. They were up eight points, and then it was the Denman show. He just was absolutely sensational down the end. Holly Rowe is with Marcus Denman. Marcus, as excited as you are for this win, why were you telling the crowd, don't rush the floor right now? I mean, because we know Kansas is a team, but I mean, we at home and we expect to win. We prefer all week, and uh, I'm glad my guys came down and fought hard. You were down by eight with two minutes to play. You guys closed this game out on a 9-0 run. How were you able to do that? It's about heart, man. Everybody buying in, getting stopped, playing together on both ends of the floor. We came out with the win. I hate to use the S word, but Marcus, you had been in a slump. What was different for you tonight? Oh, uh, I mean, well, I shot the same shots I always shoot. I, I pride myself in taking good shots, and I know that I work on my game. Um, night in, night out, and I do those shots with fall. So Coach uh, has that. Um, here and keep telling me to keep shooting the ball uh, whether I'm making it or missing and tonight uh, I was fortunate enough to make shots. For a Kansas City kid what does this mean for you to close out this rivalry with the win? Uh, I mean it's just really special. Um, I'm glad I'm proud of my guys everybody on our coaching staff and um, I mean th this ain't it for us though we got to get ready for Monday. Thank you. Thank you. What a win for Missouri. Big 12 standings. Kansas 8 and 2. Baylor 8 and 2. Missouri 8 and 2. After Missouri wins here at home tonight over the Jayhawks, 74 to 71, led by 29 points from their senior, Marcus Denman. For Dick Vitale and Holly Rowe, I'm Dan Schulman saying thanks for watching. Sports Center is coming up next. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. What a night in Columbia. So long from Missouri Arena.